I am Dave O'Higgins. I am Rob Luft. I'm a jazz guitar player from London. And I play the saxophone. This album's called O'Higgins and Luft Play Monk and Train. This is uh, a new collaboration between me and Dave. We are focusing on uh, quite a specific repertoire from Monk and John Coltrane. What we're trying to do actually is pick some um, tunes that I guess don't get played so often. Um, I mean, people play Thelonious Monk tunes a lot, but it, it tends to be the same sort of dozen Monk tunes get played over and over again. And there's probably about sort of 60 others. And, we're sort of picking from them. Um, in fact, uh, Rob introduced me to some monk tunes that I'd, I'd never even heard before. His compositions and his and his albums are so they're so off the wall and so interesting that they're just timeless. So you put on a an album of his from the late fifties and it just sounds like it was made yesterday. Rob was really into his monk and. Um, and I enjoyed that because I thought that was one writer who I knew the tunes everyone knows, but I didn't know many others. And I thought I'd really like to dig deep and get into that. And then the Coltrane side of things, um, we looked a lot into the recordings he made uh, on the Prestige label. And so we're playing some standards that he liked to play. Coltrane's a very personal musician for me because his some of his albums, particularly some of the, I guess, around the period we're, we're, we're focusing on the kind of late 50s, very early 60s stuff that he did on Atlantic and also Prestige with the two labels that we've kind of picked, hand-picked music from. That was some of the stuff that got me into jazz, like the album My Favourite Things, the album Giant Steps were two of the first album, like CDs I bought and I just loved them. And that took me from being a kind of John Lee Hooker obsessed you know, 10 year old blues guy, um, to being uh, an 11 year old obsessed with Coltrane jazz guitarist, which is why I've got into this bizarre position that I am today and being, you know, um, making jazz music uh, for, on a daily basis. I'm a big early Coltrane fan. I really like the early Coltrane. There seemed to be a nice link because, of course, Monk and Train played together. <laughs> Dave is a person that I've looked up to for a long time on the London jazz scene. He's well regarded by everyone, by kind of audiences, musicians, promoters alike. Interestingly, we, we found this out the other day that I think Rob was born about the time that I made my first solo record. Um, so we're a generation apart, but musically, um, we're totally on the same page and uh, it's been great. It's been great socially as well. We've really had a ball. On the drums, we've got Mr. Rod Youngs, who is uh, one of my great heroes, also like Dave on the London jazz scene. He's, a, uh, he's an incredible palette of sounds that he uses. I've played a lot with Rod and never recorded with him. And I always thought, yeah, I must do a record with Rod sometime because um, he's a very organic kind of drummer. He completely goes with the flow. He's just got this sound on the drum kit. You know, if he just plays the toms quietly, you can just tell it's it's Rod playing his kit. On the organ, we've got Scott Flanagan, who is from Belfast. And Scott I met on the um, gigs we did where this idea was kind of cooked up, really. Um, the blowing gigs I did with Rob. You know, he's an incredibly accomplished piano player and Hammond organ player alike. I think that this is a really interesting revision of some quite specific repertoire that doesn't get aired very much. And it's a really great little a snapshot of quite a specific sound world. Even though what we're doing is a straight ahead swinging project, it affords itself a lot of room for sounding more contemporary. Mm. 